Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I'm here today to talk about the importance of the guppy pose or guppy stretch and talk about three of my favorite ways to do this pose. So first of all, what is the guppy stretch and why are so many people talking about it? So the gut stretch is a stretch where the infant's neck is going backwards, which is releasing the anterior or the front neck muscles, the chest, and is actually releasing some tension on the floor of the mouth or the tongue attaches to the bottom of the mouth. This pose is wonderful for infants of all ages, um, but it is especially important for infants who are having difficulties with tongue mobility, who maybe have a tongue tie, whether or not it has been released or not, um, or if they just have tension overall. This is a wonderful position to open up um, the neck and the chest and help the infant get a little bit more release and a more relaxed posture. This position can be done a variety of ways. So I'm gonna go over my top three ways to do this position and how you can recreate it at home. So the easiest way to do this position is actually to do it on your legs. So make sure you're sitting with some back support so that you are comfortable. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your infant over your legs. You wanna make sure that their head is able to move freely during this exercise. You are not gonna be guiding your, their head. You are not gonna be physically stretching them. All of your hand support is either gonna be on their shoulders or on the base of their neck. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna have it so that their head is going off a little bit and they can use that gravity to pull their head down and get a stretch and you're gonna be supporting right here. Sometimes with younger infants, I will support the base of their neck a little bit more just because they're still working on head control. I'm not sure which way they're gonna go and that can just give me a little bit more um, stability when I'm holding them. But for this, you can either hold the shoulders or the base of the neck. So that is the first way to do it, which is a super simple way you can do it at home. Um, another way I love to do the guppy is on an exercise ball. And an exercise ball is a fantastic tool for infants up into toddlerhood, even older kids to work on so many gross motor skills. It does not matter what size ball you have. This is just the one I use in the clinic. But for guppy on the ball, you're gonna put the infant on their back and you're gonna roll them forward and you're looking for the release there. It is important to try to keep the infant's head as much in midline. Um, so just flat back, not turn to either side as possible. And sometimes when I see an infant that's really turning towards side, I'll just come in and guide them back to midline with my hand and then let them try it again. If they're turning to one side, they're not getting the full stretch um, with the front part of the neck and they might be stretching the side of their neck. And if they're needing to do that, then there's some other stretches we can do to address that. Um, but you can just do it on the ball. The farther out you go, the more their head will go back and more of a stretch that they will get. And finally, the other way I love to do the guppy is actually on a bobby pillow. Um, so you can have your bobby pillow on the ground and you will have your infant here. Again, supporting their shoulders. This one you can also support the base of the neck because you'll be able to go up under the boppy, um, but just looking for that extension right here and they can move their head back. I typically recommend holding the stretch for about two to three minutes or to the infant's tolerance. I have infants who absolutely love this pose and will want to do it for longer periods of time. That is totally fine too. The important thing for the stretch is just to read your infant's cues. So if you were doing it and they are squirming or they are like crunching um, and trying to hold their neck up, they're not getting the full benefit of the stretch. So I would stop and then try again later. A lot of times, the first couple times you do this stretch, infants are a little bit unsure and a little bit guarded. So they actually might be trying to hold their neck up. You might see their shoulders going up or they're kind of crunching their body in. A lot of times when they're doing that, I will just put my hands on their shoulders 
and just encourage their head to go back. And I'll just talk about it's okay to just release your body and let your head go back. But a lot of times that just um, that cue of hands on the shoulders will help them relax it a little bit more and go into that full stretch. If you have any questions regarding the stretch or services for your infant in general, please reach out and we'd be more than happy to help you. Thanks so much.